Now, the field of basic science or curiosity driven research is growing in Korea, but there's still much room for improvement. Experts say limited funding and lack of job security is putting off a new generation of brilliant and promising minds, those who could become world class scientists. Kwon Jang Ho files this report. This is Gyeonggi Science High School, and these students are in the midst of a biology experiment. The school is one of 20 public high schools around the country that specialize in natural sciences for gifted children. I've liked maths and sciences since I was young. Now I'm really enjoying biology and chemistry the more I study it. Ever since I was young, I have dreamed about winning a Nobel Prize. It's the biggest prize in science, and it would be an amazing honor and a dream I keep close to my heart. Many students here have dreams of becoming world-famous scientists. And schools like these, with its facilities, can be considered one of the best places to nurture those dreams. But in many cases, it doesn't necessarily work out that way. At the country's four top science high schools, nearly 10% of graduates choose to study medicine at university rather than carry on with natural sciences. That number is significantly higher with some of the most gifted. Of those that took part in international science competitions, over 40% opted for medical school. To find out why so many students decide not to carry on with studying the sciences, we met with some medical students who graduated from science high schools. I kept hearing in the news that funding for scientific research in Korea was lacking. I asked around, and the more I looked into it, the more it just seemed it wouldn't be worth as much as the effort that I would have had to put into it. I think a lot of Korean parents think that it's safer to make money as a doctor and because they want their children to be better off. It's those financial reasons that play a big role. The government has said it will increase current funding of basic sciences by 36% by 2018 and promise to do more to try and tackle the issues. But fellow scientists argue it isn't all about money. The facilities and funding are not bad in Korea, but it's the culture that needs to change. Investors are impatient, always looking for quick and measurable results. The Korean science community is also very closed off in Korea, making it very difficult for young scientists to get into. If basic science is to flourish in Korea, long-term stability, backed by consistent funding, is needed to remake it into a viable and secure career and make it easier for more curious young minds to find their way to their dream job of becoming a scientist. Kwon Jang-ho, Arirang News.